Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK4 tutorial. It is time to move on with our GTK series and we are moved to a new playlist which is called already, which uh, you already know it is GTK application. Once that we do understand now what GTK application window does, now we need to understand how GTK application works because uh, GTK application it is needed when you work with GTK application window. That being said, if we move here, says GTK application, basically this is application class. And if we go scroll down to its description, says GTK application is a class that handles many important aspects of GTK application mm. in a convenient fashion without enforcing a one size fits all application model. Currently, GTK application handles GTK in initialization, application on X session management, provides some basic scriptability and desktop shell integration and so on. Anyway, the important thing which uh, you need to understand it is this which we are talking uh, in the GTK application window as well. While GTK window works fine with GTK windows, it is recommended to use it together with GTK application windows. So basically it is not true that you need a GTK application window when you work with GTK application. You can also with work with GTK window di directly but you know you will have to set a lot of things for yourself things which are already created for you with the help of GTK application window when GTK treats are enabled GTK application will acquire the GTK lock and so on this is uh, not important right now automatic resources we are not going to talk about them right now GTK boulder and so on it is possible to provide the menu bar by using GTK application set menu bar. We are not going to talk about this one as well. Why? Because you find this function in the GTK application window uh, playlist where we were working with GTK application windows set menu bar or something like that was called. Anyway. Uh, the important part thing is that the GTK application will uh, set up uh, an icon search path for the uh, default icon table by appending the icons to the resource path and so on. Okay, this is another story. A simple application you have here, you can click on it. Uh, the important thing also is that GTK application optionally registers with seizure managers, which is also very important. And so on. now let us move uh, up to the first one. GTK application new says creates a new GTK application instance. When this GTK application, it is uh, when using sorry uh, GTK application, it is not necessary to call GTK init. Why is not? Well, because uh, in GTK4, GTK init uh, suffers some changes. One of the, those it is that it takes now void, which means you cannot provide any arguments anymore. So basically, uh, you should already uh, you be used with this kind of call if you are following my GTK3 uh, tutorial because. I, I always uh, used void inside the GTK init, so you should know how the story goes. But here it is not about if you can or you cannot, it is about that there is no way to provide through GTK init uh, arguments anymore. The thing and the story is, is a little bit different and together with GTK application and G application you will learn how and what kind of different things uh, they are. Anyway. Uh, no tech command arguments are not passing. Yes, this we are going to uh, talking about it anyway. Uh, it returns a GTK application window uh, pointer. So better said, you need the GTK application pointer to point to the memory location where GTK application you know, returns. It takes two arguments. The first one it is the application ID, and the second one is the flag. Uh, what exactly means? Um, we are talking about this story. A little bit later when we are going to talk about G application where it is uh, better explained for you but uh, main uh, important thing which you need to know it is that you can set different flags uh, based on which kind of um, application you are creating um, for for your uh, needs and so on if it is uh, command line if it is uh, uh, whatever you, you 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 will see, and uh, the application ID it is because you need to register the name, which is also s uh, interesting um, to talk about it. But we are going to talk about it in the G application, not in the GTK application. That being said, this function I was calling it right here, and I give it a name. This is my nice app, whatever. 
what you are uh, providing and uh, no, no flags at all and now as you already probably noticed if you don't um, let me let me pass this on if you don't connect uh, active a signal to it then it says your application does not implement the G application activate and has no handles connected to the active signal it should do one of these why it should do well because uh, you you didn't uh, quite uh, took a decision about what kind of what type of application will be you just said that uh, it it has no flag so which means it should be a regular application better said so nothing here should be done but once that you connect it to the activate signal which we are going to check in a second by calling the activate callback basically you create your window uh, now let me go a little bit up here to the signals and inside the signals as you can see we have three different signals which does not really uh, uh, provide you the information which you see it here and that is because that is because if you go to the object hierarchy right here and you click you will see then it is basically um, uh, deriving from, from um, a G application uh, or, or inner hits so if we now go to G, G application which is a GIO by the way it is not a GLibo GTK yeah I just had to know uh, let me go a little bit to another one right here mm, I wanted a signal ah right here you see you have activate common line open shutdown and start top so basically there are a lot of information the activation I says activation is emitted when or better on the primary instance when activation occurs so you, ne you need to check the, this one anyway this is something which we're not going to talk right now so I'm going to close it and uh, I'm going to um, uh, let you like this so once like I said again uh, once that you create your application the next thing which you need you need to call it G application run which is another function we are going to talk about it later and uh, because we have no uh, arguments at all provided uh, uh, for, your, for our main then uh, we are using false and null and the return status of this application run we are just passing it here uh, to the return of our main that being said i'm going to stop right now thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys